So you're considering moving to Gulf Breeze, Florida. Well, I think that's a great idea, and today I'm going to tell you why. What's happening, folks? My name is Brant, your real estate agent right here along the Florida Gulf Coast. Now, I have lived in this area my entire life, and Gulf Breeze is one of the areas that I really like for a place to settle down. It has everything that you need around here. It's close to the beach. It's close to the city of Pensacola, but it also kind of gives you that small town feel a lot of really great neighborhoods and i'm going to go over all of that today so that maybe it offers you a little value and helps you make a decision as to whether or not you want to move here and if you are considering moving here then feel free to hit me up all my information is in the description below if you have any questions about the florida gulf coast i'll be happy to help you out you can text me call me email me it does not matter so let's start this video off by answering the question what is gulf breeze florida well gulf breeze is a suburb of Pennsylvania. Pensacola. It's basically sandwiched right in the middle of Pensacola, the city, and Pensacola Beach. So it is close to both of them. It's got a small population, but don't let that fool you. That kind of gives it the small town feel, but there is a lot to do here. There's a lot of nature, a lot of water, uh, and we're going to go over right now some of my favorite things to do here in Gulf Breeze. So let's start the things to do list by talking about water sports. And we could not have picked a better day to discuss water sports than today. It's sunny, it's 75 in February. You do not get many days like this in February. And so everybody's gonna be going out today uh, to fish, to boat, to jet ski. And what's great about Gulf Breeze is it borders both sides of Pensacola Bay. So you are surrounded by water here. So if, if water is your thing, if beaches are your thing, then you are going to love this area. So if water sports aren't really your thing, but nature is, that is number two. We've got you covered on that end too. Uh, this area is surrounded by many different national seashores, which offer a variety of nature activities. There's tons of hiking trails, places to camp, just endless woods in this area. And what's cool about all these trails is most of them end up on a little secluded beach on the water somewhere. So uh, there's that added bonus too. So if nature is your thing and wildlife is your thing, there is plenty of it here in Gulf Breeze, Florida. Now we can't have a things to do list without talking about the beach. So if you are living in Gulf Breeze, Florida, you are literally only five minutes away from this right here. That, my friends, is Pensacola Beach. It has some of the whitest sand you'll ever see. Such a beautiful place, and the beach is all public. So that is an added bonus if you are living in the Gulf Breeze area. The next thing I'm going to talk about while I'm out here on the beach, and I'm not going to actually go there today, but is the Gulf Breeze Zoo. Yes, we have a zoo here in Gulf Breeze, and it's a really cool place, and I highly recommend checking out if you are in the area. Now next on the list is the food scene. This area is very close to a number of amazing restaurants. This restaurant right behind me is probably my favorite. This is the Grand Marlin. It's located kind of at the base of Gulf Breeze and Pensacola Beach and it is a must try. If you're heading over here the food is outstanding but there are a number of really great restaurants within four or five miles of this area. So uh, hey, I would call that an added bonus if you love seafood. So now that you know of some things to do in the area, let's talk about the real estate. Now you can break Gulf Breeze into two different areas. Gulf Breeze proper, which is where I'm at right now, and that is the west end of Gulf Breeze. And we've got the east end, which is Midway and Tiger Point, Oriole Beach, those areas. And they're both a little different from each other. But I will say this, no matter where you're living in Gulf Breeze, whether you're in proper on the west end or on the east end, you are going to have everything you need. Like a Publix, Walmart, great sports facilities, the beach, and of course, Chick-fil-A. So you're going to have no issues with the location. Now, the real estate prices do differ depending on where you're living in Gulf Breeze. If you're wanting to be in proper, real estate's gonna be more expensive. Now, if you're planning on living on the east end, uh, 
the prices aren't going to be as expensive, but there's a lot of really nice family friendly neighborhoods over there. And what's cool about the East End, there's some canal systems that run through the area that you could even get a waterfront home for five to six hundred thousand dollars and live on a canal. And that is going to bring me to our next section. I want to show you some of these neighborhoods in person so that you can see what you're getting yourself into. I want to show you Gulf Breeze proper first. So we're going to jump in the car and we're going to drive through some of these neighborhoods and then I'm going to show you some of the homes that are listed for sale. So here we are driving through proper and this is just such a charming area and it's going to be a mixture of really nice upscaled neighborhood homes and luxury homes. This place is really sought after because of the location and honestly not a lot of homes come up for sale in this area because they are so sought after. As you can see right here, they're just really nice. And here's just uh, your basic neighborhood through Gulf Breeze proper. Real estate is a little more expensive over here. And this is where you will find your waterfront and expensive luxury homes like this right here. There are truly some immaculate pieces of property here, which is kind of the opposite of the east side. So here is a full map right here of Gulf Breeze proper. And just as I suspected, very limited inventory here. And it's because because nobody wants to sell. This place is so awesome. Now, if you keep your eyes peeled every now and then, there will be something come on the market. It just goes quick. But right now, I'm looking, it doesn't look like there's anything but luxury homes on the market. And so you're seeing, uh, these homes in the million dollar range. Here's one right here. It's a 4-3, 1,050,000, 3,121 square foot. There are a lot of neighborhood type homes that aren't necessarily luxury homes like this in Gulf Breeze proper. The problem is they just don't come up for sale very often. Now, the total opposite is the case if we go to the east end, which we're going to go to right now. Now, as you can see over here on the east side, there is a lot of inventory, uh, a lot of neighborhood type homes over here. I'm going to show you some. There's just lots of stuff like this right here. Here's a uh, just a, your normal brick home in a nice neighborhood for you know $360,000. You're going to find a lot of that in this area. Now, this is a really nice looking home here, $480,000 four bedroom uh yeah this is this one looks turnkey yeah this is this is a real nice place open floor plan nice kitchen so you, again you're, you're gonna get a lot of stuff like this over in on the east side of gulf breeze and what's great about the east side over there is you're still close to the beach you're still close to Pensacola. Let's look at one of those canal homes that I was uh, talking about because those are real interesting. You get waterfront like right here, $634,000 for a really nice looking spot on the water that leads right out into the sound. And that's a, actually a pretty decent looking home. Here's another waterfront over here. And I think this one's even cheaper. This is a brick home. 500 and looks like $25,000 brick home on the water, 3-2. And this uh, this leads right out into the bay. It's called uh, Polynesian Isles, canals, good fishing, lots of wildlife there. Uh, this home actually looks pretty decent inside. So that's cool. So you, there are some affordable waterfront options over here. So that's pretty much uh, breaking Gulf Breeze into two different uh, areas. If you want, uh, if you're wanting to move quick and you're wanting a, a for sure place to live, obviously the east side with more inventory is going to be better because you're going to find a lot of homes on the market. But if you want to live in Gulf Breeze proper and don't mind paying more or wanting a luxury home or wanting to wait for one of those neighborhood type homes to come up, then uh, hey, you can do that too. Both areas are fantastic. I really hope you enjoyed that video of Gulf Breeze, Florida. It is a really great community to live in. There is so much that this area has to offer. And if you need any help whatsoever uh, with even deciding if you're wanting to move down here, feel free to reach out. I will be happy to answer any questions that you may have. And if you need to sell a piece of property here, I can help with that as well. All of my information is in the description below and if this video offered you any value whatsoever please shoot it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel i post new videos every week about the florida gulf coast